Alexis. I got a werewolf in the house, y'all. Along with my dragon and my dog. A werewolf. <laughs> I was sneezing. What's up, everybody? So, my first video, Draco got quite a few likes and stuff. I gained a couple subscribers from Draco. Shut up! With tears, Draco. We just got done cleaning her cage. I added more sand to her cage. I was using the vitamin sand. But, of course, PetSmart did not have any. So I bought the calcium sand. And it looks so much better than that yellow sand. That stuff just got on my nose. It was so ugly. So now she's got like a... Like a grayish color sand in there. But it's calcium sand. So what kind of stuff do y'all use for your bearded dragon cages? I've tried. Nothing I use is air and oxygen. crazy y'all but i've used that coconut i think it was coconut it was like the brick stuff that you put in water and like it grows like 10 times the size of the piece that you put in the water i've used that stuff that stuff was it was okay it was just i don't know made the cage darker i don't know wasn't a fan of that stuff. Um, I've used the sand, the calcium sand. Well, now I'm using the calcium sand. So, I'm going to try this. I was using the vitamin sand. And I don't think Draco really liked it because where she laid and slept, she had no sand because she would throw it out. And... So pretty much is what we've been doing this morning, cleaning her cage and letting her chill, hang out while I edited another, or She's scary looking. posted my video on my Botox injections that I had to have for my boys yesterday. So we just finished that video. And I'm going to attempt to put her in water again here before long when she was... Maybe she's about six months old or so, or a year old. I've tried putting her in water. Because people, I've watched all these videos of all these dragons just swimming, playing, have a good old time in the water. But Draco? No. I tried putting her in water. And that did not go very well. She did not like it. Why not? Because she don't like water, I guess. Why? She drinks it. She's 98% water. But she does not like water. She loves to be sprayed with a water bottle. But as far as putting her in water, no, she will not like being put in water. And also her vegetables and stuff. She loves mango. She loves collard greens. She likes turnip greens. Or not turnip greens. Mustard greens, but she prefers collards. She likes broccoli. But they say, I read on the Bearded Dragon forum that they can have like mint and stuff. I bought some of that. And, uh. Drago did not like it. I don't know if it was the smell or what, but Drago did not like it. Come on, Drago. You want to say hey? You want to say hey? And also, I'm just curious because I have... She's ready to go to her cage, y'all. What is it, Drago? I have like a... I have three globes. <laughs> One of them, I have like a ceramic heat lamp in it. The other one is a double one. And I also have another one, but 
it like where you turn it on and off it like melted she's scary so i took that one out but the other one i have a double sided or a double globe thing for her basking light and her heat light and stuff and then i changed it at night time and put the night blue bulb in it for her and like some days her cage is like at a good temperature and then a lot there's some days that like it's not getting warm enough so i was just wanting to see like how y'all do y'all's lighting or how y'all put it in the cages because i've seen some cool setups to where like people have them like inside the cages like on the lids and she's in a big tank she's got a real big tank it took i got a coffee table a glass coffee table that she sits on and it all but covers the whole table and i can't put them bulbs in there i guess because they're so Hi. they're like so deep and she likes to jump up and hits the top of the cage because she'd be wanting out all the time so she'd be trying to jump out i guess but sometime in the future, I'm hoping to either go buy one of them big old corner tanks. You want to give me some sugar? Either buy one of them big old corner tanks or either like have a custom cage made. That's what I really want. I want her to have a big old cage. And I've tried putting like little plants and stuff in there. No. She eats them suckers. I had like some different colored plants. I had an aloe plant in there. She destroyed that thing. And it looks so pretty in her cage. And then I had like a cactus in there. She destroyed it. She tore them things up. She does not want nothing in her cage but her log, her food. Her water bottle, I do have a rock in there. I had two in there. But that one, she mowed around all the time. So, she just wants a plain case. She don't want nothing in there, but the necessities, I guess. I even had a hammock in there one time. And she, I would put her on there, and she'd jump right off. She does not want nothing in there. And then... Like, I did have a big old stick in there one time. Now, she loved that thing, but she kind of about grew it because she grew and got bigger. So, she started, she would try to lay on it, and she'd just fall off. She's so crazy. But, I was just, so, like, the lamps, I'm trying to figure something out different about her lamps. I do have, in one spot of her cage, I do have a heat pad under it. So, like, when she's really cold or if she's cold, she will lay on the heat pad part. And that's another area where she has no sand. Because when it had the sand on there, it kept the whole, like, sand right there warm. But I don't know if she just didn't like the vitamin sand or what, but she did not want to be on it. So, now we're going to try this calcium sand. Hopefully, which it looks a whole lot better because that vitamin stuff is just yellow. I hate yellow. But with this pandemic, it's hard to get anything. So, but I figured I'd just come on here, let y'all see Draco. She's just calm, she's chilling. I don't know. And I've seen a lot of bearded dragons too. And them little suckers are rowdy. But she just likes to be held. She likes to go outside, but it's too cold for her right now. She'll be trying to get in the house. So, I guess that's it for today. She's watching the wind blow out the window. What is it? So, thanks for watching. Please smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Tell them, Draco, say, please subscribe. But, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. And I'll see you next time.